Good morning, Modern Studies. This is our Thanksgiving weekend. So I hope you had a great long Thanksgiving weekend if you had the time off. Me, Gina, and Olivia do. And the goals for our weekend is today to get the whole inside of the outdoor kitchen covered with tar paper. That'll seal it from the elements keep the drafts out and when you're looking at it from afar from outside the cracks you'll just see black and then after that we're going to put our insulation up so we're hoping to get all the tar paper up today then we have a parade to go to this afternoon Olivia's going to love doing that we got to go to the post office and pick up a surprise which I think you already know about that's supposed to be here today and then tomorrow we're hoping to get it all insulated then we're going to have to figure out what we're putting in for the interior sheathing. This is going to be great. It's going to be exciting. I think just having the tar paper up is going to keep it warm in the outdoor kitchen. So when the fire's going, it'll stay in here a little bit better. And then once the insulation's in here, it's going to be awesome. All right. We'll get a fire going, get it warmed up in here a bit. Then we're going to have some nice pasture-raised sausage, home fries, and eggs for breakfast. Then when we're done eating, we can come back out and get to work. And then hopefully the fire will have taken the chill out. The fun part's gonna be moving everything out of our way to get the tar paper up. And then working around the outdoor kitchen and not being too tight and tripping over everything. And then we're gonna come back and do the same thing for the insulation. But it's gonna be so nice once it's all done. Once that ceiling's insulated, it's gonna keep so much heat in the kitchen. I mean, this stove puts off some BTUs. It's gonna be nice once it's all finished. Now, my reasoning for not doing this as we were building the kitchen and putting it up before the sheathing was tar paper stinks. And if we didn't have it sheathed on the inside, I didn't want that smell coming through while we had the class going on. Because tar and bacon don't smell good. When I'm doing a project, I like to start with the hardest area first. So to me, this is going to be the most challenging area behind the wood stove. So we're going to start in this corner and get this done. After that, it should go a lot smoother. Or at least we won't have a hot stove to work on. you hold yours up that line.
they put lines on here on purpose? They do.
Yeah, the pigs did an awesome job of cleaning it. Yeah. Because you would never be able to see out there and see ground. Yeah. And the ground you picked is pretty mossy. Yeah. They did a great job. It'd be nice to see the other pigs out there. Hopefully, they go on the back side and clear the back side a little bit better. Tell me where you'd like to have your. Early lunch, we can take you to the parade. Okay. You're excited to go to the parade? Yeah. And then what are we going to get when we're at the parade? You excited for that? Yeah. She already. S what did you want to get there? Huh? What were we going to get? Our t shirts and sweatshirts. Whoa! The post office. Go to the post office. Now that it's all papered, it doesn't look as pretty on the inside. We would have left it like this for the three day hog harvesting class. The video would have been. <laughs> in my opinion, anyways. So at least now, we'll insulate it. This is what it looks like with all the tar paper on. Kind of boring. But it's a lot warmer. Can't wait till we get the insulation on tomorrow. So we got back from our parade and I'm sauteing up some carrots, onions, celery, and garlic smells delicious. We're gonna make a pork barley soup instead of a beef barley. We had a roast the other day with a bone in it. So for the leftovers we set aside, put them in the fridge. Last night we put them in the crock pot, we let them simmer, and we got all the meat off the bones and we made a bone broth. Let me show you. We got the beautiful bone broth that we made from the bones from the roast. We got some barley and then we have the meat left over from the roast. That's gonna make a delicious soup tonight. We got some corn we're gonna put into it too. Been looking at a couple of different recipes. Some of them call for potatoes. Not sure if we're gonna put those in there or not for dinner. Let me show you what else we got while we were out. It's a sneak peek. Sweatshirts. T-shirts. Look at them. Won't show you all the colors right now. But we picked them up today at the post office. We have some family coming over for dinner tonight. So if I remember, I'll take some pictures of the mail and let you know how it was. It's gonna turn out delicious, I bet you. Right, Pluto? You liking your dog treats lately? She's been loving on them. I've been enjoying having New York City this close to the house, and I've been enjoying letting the birds out during the day, and they go back in at night. We're taking this bucket to the pigs. 
Even Andy's been going in at night for us. Oh, Mr. Biggs. Hey, girls. You pushed your water dish out. You drank all your water and said, fill it up. Take some more. Ready for some food? Oh, look at you rooting up. Awesome. Enjoy that. Look at those dirty noses. I love seeing that. 